Um, specifically black women hear me out before you pass judgment hear me out before you push the unsubscribe button because you all mean a lot to me but you have to understand the frustration that I've had throughout all my years with dealing with black women also known as African American women so the first thing is this um, I'll never date outside of my race. I hold uh, uh, an allegiance to my race. And so therefore, I would never date, date outside my race, but I definitely, definitely will no longer date African-American women, meaning women that were born and raised here and were taught negative things such as assimilation and to become an independent woman and never needing a man. And they were taught how to hate their hair. They fish their face facial features. They were taught to go against the black man. Now I'm not saying that this uh, ideology or doctrine was uh, indoctrinated in every black woman's homes home. That's not what I'm saying. But at the same time, I don't want to take my chances. Just about every female that I've dated have been indoctrinated and assimilated. So from now on, I will only, now let me take it back. I have no business dating right now anyway. I gotta get my life right. I gotta get my life in order. I have to start businesses in order that I can pass these businesses down to my children. So I'm just saying if I were to date, right? I'm only dating, from now on, women of Caribbean descent or African descent. That's it. Now, you can be raised, born and raised here, but your culture has to be the, the opposite or different from American culture. And this is the thing. When you look outside of uh, American, African American women and you're dealing with Caribbean women, I could give you two experiences that I've had, right? Now, I've never, well, I was with a, a, a Dominican chick and she was somewhat submissive, but it wasn't like a relationship. You know, we, you, know, you get my drift. We did our thing, right? But two examples I can give you, you know, and what I experienced. One, my grandfather is married to I, I think she was from St. Thomas, St. Lucia, or Granada. I, I don't know. I forgot. One out of the three, right? I remember I used to go to my grandfather's house. And I, I didn't have to want for anything. My step-grandmother would be like, let me wash your clothes. You need something to eat? She would feed me. She she would take care of me. And, and I, I was like, wow. It, you know, she would take care. She would want to take care of me so much till it became annoying. And... You know, my grandfather never had to want for nothing. She cooked, she cleaned, she did everything. And she never, ever bitched and complained, ever. And it's crazy because I bet you, you all African-American women, women that were born and raised here, that, assimil that have assimilated, and that's on this independent woman shit, you probably think submiss submission, being submissive, is a, a form of slavery. And that's far from the furthest fucking truth. Being submissive does not mean that you have to agree with everything. Being submissive does not mean that you have to, uh, to, to, to abide by any and everything. That's not the case. But you do need to know your place. You do need to understand a man and what he, what he what, what's his wants and needs. That you do. You do need to practice good communication skills. You do need to be attentive. You do need to be a listener when it comes to a man. You, you do need to look at that man eye to eye. That's a grown man. And you're disrespecting him when you don't. 
But that Caribbean woman, my step-grandmother, knew how to treat a man. She knew her place, her position in the family. My step-grandmother, excuse me, my stepmother, she's from Jamaica. She did the same thing. I truly believe, I'm just being real, I'm not trying to put my business out there, but it's the truth. I truly believe if, now my father wasn't in my life like that, you know what I'm saying? He was in it, but he wasn't, you know. Um, we moved from New York and then moved to North Carolina and, you know, he would, you know, he would send me up for Christmas and summers and all the rest of that stuff and, and um, send me clothes and all of that stuff, right? I don't think that was just him. I think if it weren't for my step mother right those summer trips those clothes those tin boots that i wanted the sega genesis the leather jackets uh uh the guest watches all of that shit that i got not that we're not even talking about money no we ain't even talking about money just a couple of years ago I, my, my my father and my step stepmoms dropped me a couple of thousand i don't think that he's he was behind that I think if it weren't for her, my father, by himself, would be a deadbeat dad. So these are two examples that I saw growing up. How there was a difference between the American woman and the Caribbean woman. American women are very argumentative. They're very combative. And I can't tolerate that shit anymore. I'm not your enemy. I never was. I'm saying me. I'm the good guy. I'm the one that makes sure, sure, that my children are with me at all times. I would never abandon them. So whatever state that I move to or city, they're coming with me, period. And their mother. And that's something that a woman needs to understand. That whomever, whoever I deal with, you gotta understand my family comes first, then you come second. That's not gonna happen with an American woman. She's not gonna understand that. She's gonna want her time. And I'm not saying all of you, or you all, but there's a vast amount of African American women that are just pure tea selfish and just mean to the core. Just don't want to understand. But when it comes to that African woman clocking in at her job, she's submissive, submissive to that white man. That's the only man that she be, should be submissive to. And see, I know what y'all are going to say. Oh, you got to earn my respect and all the rest. Well, you have to learn, earn my respect as well. God damn it. Who, who are you to, to think that you're bigger and better than me? That's the problem with you women that practice this fucking independent women goddamn ideology. That's the problem. There is a position that you have to play. Within having a family The man has to be the man And the woman has to be the woman And a lot of you all Can't find a good man Or you lose a good man Because you're trying to do both Because your mom showed, told you some dumb shit Oh you need to be an independent woman You need to do this that, 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 This and that and so forth And she's, she, what, she's, what she's done Is she spread that negative virus on into your head Now you can't find a good man Because she never had a good man And it just goes It's generational You teach your daughter that And the, your daughter teaches her, her daughter that And it keeps on going on and on You know the ratio in Atlanta Is like 50 to 1 You want to know why Now of course there's a lot of DL guys down there You know what I'm saying so that's part of the reason that the guys are fucking the guys. But there's another reason. Women refuse 
to get in relationships with men. So therefore, they have no children. And they're making all of this money for no fucking reason. I'm just trying to understand women, for real. I just want, I want you to answer this question. Why the fuck do you have a reproductive system that you're not using? And if you are a Christian, God said replenish the earth. Why are you not doing your job? Why? You're making all of this money for nothing. And I know, I know, I know what y'all gonna say, cause y'all say the same redundant, stupid shit all the time. Well, he gotta have such and such money, and I need to do this. And he needs to give me stability and blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Okay, when that nigga does that, guess what? Y'all still be on some next shit with it. Period. And let me tell you something, I have the right to date who I want to date. I have the right to be with who I want to be with. And it just so happens that I do not want to be with an American woman anymore. I've had my bad motherfucking moments and times with them. But I see with Caribbean and African um, women, totally different. Totally different. Period. And that's just my rant. You know, I'm, I'm on for y'all, you know. This is my second video about you all uh, I'm not gonna make any more but um, it's just the truth I mean some of the things you may disagree with but but some of the other things you have to agree with with me with you you have to I mean you had a bunch of fucking single women in Atlanta I mean making six figures seven figures but you can't seem to keep a man or find one And your standards are just ridiculous. And I, I tell you what, live up to the, your standards, and then the men, such as myself, will live up to yours. So what I'm saying is, everything that you demand from that man, you better fucking have. If you demand that that man drives a nice car, you better have a nice car. If you demand that that man stays in a big house, you better have a big house. If you demand that that man makes six, seven, six to seven figures as far as dealing with money, you better have six to seven figures. If you demand that that man may, uh, has an 800, 850 credit score, you better have an 850 credit score. Period. Other than that, y'all need to actually sit down and evaluate yourself and just say to yourself, yo, I disagree with those things that Langston, Langston said, 2092, but some of them he was dead on and I kind of understand why. And stop being combative because I know another thing that y'all going to say, there ain't no good men out there and they ain't worth shit and this and that and so forth and blah, 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 blah. I'm not disagreeing. Hey, hey, listen, listen, watch this, watch this. I don't blame you. If you say the same thing That I'm not going to date an American man But I will date a Caribbean or African man Or a Caribbean or African of, uh, of, of descent Of, yeah, of, of Caribbean and African descent I'll, I'll do that I, I have no problem with you Let's join let's, let's, let's join up And I don't mean join up like, you know Well, shit, I'm, I'm of Caribbean descent So maybe it's only right Maybe it's maybe it's only right. My family's from Nevis. I I'm basically West Indian, so maybe I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Birds of a feather flock together. Other than that, my name is Lacey Twenty Nine Two. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. One.